Welcome to the Bajoran Wormhole. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. If you're returning, thanks for the support. And as always, if you want me to make a video of your favorite character, species, or planet, let me know that in the comment section too. In tonight's video, we're going to be discussing the Hyrogen. The Hyrogen were a nomadic species of hunters who roamed huge distances in the Delta Quadrant during the late 24th century. They viewed other life forms as prey and treated them as such, showing little evidence of compassion or empathy for other intelligent species. Hyrogen adult males were quite large, standing above the average height of most other known humanoid species. They also possessed greater physical strength than most humanoids, afforded to them by their advanced muscle and nervous system. Their sensory perception was acute, a feature that served well as the hyrogen were an aggressive hunting species. The hyrogen possessed an impressive immune system that made them exceptionally resilient to sedation. They were known to be capable of surviving in Y-class environments for a short time. The hyrogen used an enzyme to break down the bones and muscle tissue of their prey to be for consumption as food, but this was not confirmed. The color of hyrogen blood was red. Female hyrogen pursued male hunters in possession of rare or unique trophies acquired during a hunt. The entire hyrogen society, from social rituals to art to religious beliefs, centered around the hunt. Their existence was driven by the pursuit of prey, and it had carried them across huge distances. One of the rituals surrounding the hunt involved hunters applying paint to their faces and helmets for both the hunt and the kill. Even with no face paint available, one specific hyrogen fighter who was forced to fight in the matches still went through the ritual of running his finger over his face, as if applying paint. Hyrogen culture required a hunter to study his prey to understand its abilities, believing that such study was essential to prevent a hunter from becoming the hunted. Choosing the most appropriate weapon to make the kill was considered important. A Sith-like knife was one of the preferred methods for close range. Great importance was placed upon the moment of the kill, and it was believed that the way a creature behaved when it was wounded was the key to its destruction. Hyrogen were known to display disappointment when the species they chose to hunt proved to be unchallenging. However, being the first to hunt a certain kind of prey in itself caused some envy. They rarely saw other humanoids as equals because they often did not consider non-hyrogen as hunters. As a result, being called worthy prey by a hyrogen was meant as a great compliment. The hyrogen believed you must never sympathize with your prey. However, they did bestow a rather unique non-human compassion towards their prey, believing that they should never let their prey suffer. Most hyrogen vessels traveled alone, sometimes with a crew consisting of as few as merely two members. One such vessel was known to have spanned a radius of a thousand light years in just five years. It had also visited as many as 90 star systems in a single year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.